Without further ado, we want to bring the WBC. What is he called? Featherweight? Yeah, super. Super featherweight? 130? Yeah. Uh, WBC. Yeah. Um uh Shock is 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 uh welcome to the Portaway Podcast. Uh oh Shocky Foster. Hopefully he's still here with us. Yeah. Um he's still they, here. they said that they said the camera was out. You you there, Shock? Oh, we'll have to try to get him back. All we'll right. have to try to get him back. But yeah, remember last week I said, you know, we were talking about the fights and I said, man, I was proud of him yeah. and also proud to see Mario Barrios come on and do his thing as well. Uh, he is traveling back to Texas right now, so he wasn't able to get on this week. And um, Coach Bob Santos, remember I told you he was coming in. Yeah. I hit Bob, I, I hit Coach back and said, Coach, I want you to, I want you on with your, with your fighter. Yeah, that, wanna, make, that all makes sense. Yeah, I want to see you guys represent one yeah. another well. You know what I mean? To kind of get into the, the X's and O's if we can as, as as to how that fight played out for y'all and what you want to see come, moving forward, you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, we were able to get Oshaki on. So, uh, Shock, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, bro. There he is. Congratulations, big dog. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. We, we really never know how we're going to do these interviews because yeah. we don't really, we don't go over questions or anything like that. But before we came on... Uh, the record we were talking about you being from Texas, where you from, and and you say you'll hey, be careful because Sean might try to claim you from being from Ohio. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I said I said he probably from somewhere. He got some family from Cincinnati or something like that. Uh, last week when we were talking about your fight, I, I texted in our group. I said, "Yo, I see some similarities between Shock and Prime Adrian Bronner, and I want to know like what." In your in your style is at all where you did you ever study A B or is that just who Shock is? Oh, uh, that's crazy, bro! I didn't got that a few times. I didn't got uh, the mixture of Floyd and Browner. Yeah, uh, I most definitely I most definitely studied Browner as well. He yeah. was one of my favorite fighters back then. Uh, yeah, I, I most definitely took some stuff from him as well. Hey, Shock, man, how, you know, we just kind of talked about it before. How special was it to bring that world title back to your grandmother, your family, your grandmother's house? Man, it was huge. You know, we, we never had a, a world title list from down here, so uh, I made history in that regard. Uh, man, it, it it's just huge for the city, you know. Uh, all the kids been been coming up to me. A lot of them want to. You know, they want to box. I'm starting to see a, a lot of them running around the city just doing little, doing the little things, you know. So yeah. I definitely brought some motivation to the city. And before the uh, – I didn't know too much about you before the, your fight. As we, so we, we got our group text and with Sean and some other guys. And as the fight started, man, you're looking so damn good. I said, yeah. Sean, is he a front runner or is he that's nice? Sean's like, yeah, we, we'll see. But I think, I, think, I think he that's nice. Hey, man, you obviously proved it every round. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I was I was in a text with Sean, and it's tenth round. Sean, you was up by so much to Sean. Sean stopped watching. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, I'm like, it's like so. So what you think? I'm like, I oh, got about four, four, three to four rounds. They like, what? What you watching? So I ain't gonna lie, bro. You you almost damn near clean slate, bro. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Man, you were just impressive. Like you know, a lot of people all about the, the not having a, a loss on your record. You and Sean both. You you show that even with a loss, you can still put on a hell of a show and be a world champion and keep moving on in your career. So how important was that fight to you, man? How important? Man, uh, it was the most important fight of my life. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm at the point where uh, I got a small room for an era. You know, uh, I can't let no opportunities pass me because I don't know when they're gonna come back around. So I feel like that was the biggest opportunity that. Uh, that I that I had, you know, that I've had so far. Man, you 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 damn you took that dude to school. I, I, shout out to Ray Vargas. I mean, hell hell of a fighter, hell of a fighter. Let's gonna take nothing away from him. But man, what you did that night was a world class. And how how important was Regis in that sparring? Because I feel like Regis was up for the first four or five rounds. He his nerves he was up was the whole on. fight. I was oh, like, was yo, he? my man. You got people behind you. Sit down. Yeah. But it's Regis. So I how, say how was the sparring with Regis, and how important was he in camp? Uh, Regis, my guy, man. Uh, 
we ain't really do no sparring this okay. time because uh, he, he's a he's a southpaw. Oh, yeah. uh, his style a little different than Ray's, but man, we get we we get crazy rounds. You know, we we both support each other, man. That's that's my guy. You know, uh, especially Ben. He just picked up the WBC title, and then yeah. you know I pick it up right after. So you know, it's good for the gym and everything. Shark, I want to hey, know. Son, yeah, go I ahead. Heard, I heard you. I, I heard you uh, was picking Ray on, on me, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, and, and I'm. That's <laughs> hey, we, we we all pick Ray. Listen, we. So so Shark, and then, let me ask this question first. Uh, you got two losses early on in your career. At any point with with this fight with Ray, did did those did anything show up that you have felt back in the day when you took that loss and he was like, "Now nah, I'm fighting through it this time." Did anything show up for you at all? Uh, during camp, during camp, uh, some things happened that, that could have took me off of focus, but yeah, not during the fight or anything. Yeah. Uh, now I feel like the fight was smooth. Everything S- went great. Smooth, smooth. I commentated you when you yeah. fought Ring City. You, and, and that was my introduction to, to Shaki Oshaki Foster. So I'm like, yeah, I'm a fan. Then I commentated you when you fought in Bakersfield and you faced some adversity in Bakersfield. And so that mm-hmm. was the last experience that I was pulling on when it came time to choose. Like, I hate picking fights anyway, but they said, who's going to win between <laughs> Oshaki and Ray? I was thinking about the last time I personally saw you fight in Bakersfield. I said, well, he faced adversity and it, it, it was a little bit of a struggle for him. And then we just seen Ray fight practically lights out against Mark Maxayo. Mac- I was like, yeah, I think that it might get heated in there. And I don't know, I don't know if, if Oshaki is gonna hold up to that. And so that's essentially why I I thought that Ray would have the upper hand. I also thought that Ray was coming off of that great performance against Mark and momentum was on his side and the list goes on. But I mean, you just yeah. you go out there and you show why 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 boxing is so special because at any point in time when you on that the, the, the other guy can't 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 lay a hand on you. You know what I mean? And and that's how it was for you. Yeah. And that's also why I asked. If any moment, if at any moment did anything show up in your past and you smiled at it like, nah, you ain't get me this time or anything like that. Um, uh, uh, um, and asked, you know, hey, is he a front runner? What's what's the rest of this fight going to look like? I said, well, you know what? If he if 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 some adversity comes, we'll see what happens. I said, but I don't think Ray going to change anything. And I think oh, shot, I think shot going to win this. And then after about eight or nine rounds. I turned it off. I said, yo, nothing's going to change. Shock is just going to continue to be shoot lights out on him, and it's going to be what it is going to be. You know what I mean? Then I, then I turn it back on to see your hand get raised, man. I'm, I'm very proud of the uh, the the display of, of, of talent that you showed in that fight, man. I just thought that overall, y'all were ready for everything, and, and you you fought, uh, uh, you, were, you were 100% for 100% of that fight. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Now a lot uh, like what, what, yeah, go ahead. Now that you said the Baker's fight, you talking about the fight in Dubai? No, no, no. When you fought in Bakersfield, or not Baker? And, uh, yeah, I think it's Bakersfield. I think that was that fight. You fought on FS1. Yeah, uh, you fought on FS1. No, no, no. Remember I, I, my fight before Dubai? Uh, I fought on NBC when you was uh, oh commentating on it. Okay. I only fought once since then. That was the one in Dubai. Oh, okay, okay. Then I then I got it all the way twisted. Then I got it all the way yeah, twisted. You, you probably mistake me for somebody. Else. I am. I am. I'm trying to think of who that is now. I can't think of who it is now. Come on, man. No, no, hey, why don't you? Why would y'all put that man down? Whoever whatever that the is. Case, whatever the case may be, I, I do. <laughs> I believe. I believe you a lot. You like you're in Regis the same position where y'all y'all kind of like yo, the hottest fire. Bring that one. Bring me the hottest fire. What 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 do you think is gonna be next for you, man? Uh, hopefully we get to unify with with, with Hector or something. Uh, he he still got the WBA at one thirty. So uh, hopefully we can unify with him. If that don't work, then uh, I'm ha- I got some mandatories I need to uh, fulfill. <laughs> but either way, man, I'm happy. I'm happy just to just to stay busy. So I really it don't matter to me whichever one. Which one of the options? I just want to, you know, stay in the ring, stay active. Yes, sir. How long do you think before you get back in the ring? 
Man, hopefully like June, you know. Um, May, June, about. July. That's what I'm talking hopefully, about. Hopefully, man. I, I, I'm trying to be right back in. You know, I done had my, my, my layoffs. I'm tired of layoffs, bro. <laughs> and, and Shock, you know, you at this point in your life, you're a prize fighter. So there's some big prize fights on, you know, they say cross the street, your side of the street. But man, you got some, you got Hector. You got, uh, yeah. you got, hey, hey Leo, Leo, <laughs> Leo Santa Cruz want to come up? He can get some. And and then you got it. Yeah. They, go, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm listening, bro. And, and, yeah. and then, hey, then we, we, we kind of call this guy a living legend in his family, Gary Russell Jr. I yeah. love that fight. <laughs> I, I'm here for that fight. That is a hell of, that's a money making. Y'all going to get paid and that's a big fight. And I think all those fights that just builds your legacy and just basically at this point, you're restarting your career with a damn, a world title and you control it from here on out, bro. Yeah, man. All of them sound good, man. Uh, Navarrete, all of oh, them. Yeah. Uh, I think he, he just came up and grabbed the title. Uh, Man, I, I'm open for any one of them guys, you know. Like I said, as long as I stay busy, I don't really care who it is, honestly. Chuck, I'm, yeah, go ahead, go how, ahead. How many times you trying to fight this year? How many more? Hopefully I can get two more in. Man, uh, you can two more. That, that, that's a real champion. Uh, right there. He's he going to be a fighting champion. Yeah, you fighting three times a year as a champion, man. That's what that's what the boxing world wants. Yeah. That's what the boxing man, world that's wants. That's what I want, too. Hey, last question for me, because we talked about how great you looked in that fight. I mean, rounds one until I turned it off. You was you were you were on with everything. What do you feel you need to work on? That's what I'm talking about. We in the hood. You at your grandma in the house. You at your grandma. That's your aunt cussing somebody out. <laughs> that was better than this whole damn interview. <laughs> Oh, oh, so let's oh, get damn. silence. Get some silence. See, see what else our frequencies can pick up. Oh man! <laughs> nah, uh, Go ahead. What, what 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 you what are you gonna be working on before the next one? Um, that's why I say, man. I I, I just want to stay busy because uh, I feel like I could have did a lot more of that fight. You know, mm. uh, put more combinations together, uh, pulling the trigger on certain things that. You know, them long layouts be having you kind of, you know, you see it in the dub, but you can't pull it. So that's that's really my big thing is, is trying to stay active so I can, you know, uh, you know, really go in there and, and get these guys out of there. Because, you know, it was good, the defense and the, and the boxing part, but I really wanted to, you know, put some things together, you know, uh, put, put combinations and things like that. So that's what I'll be working on. And one more thing for me, in the moment, were, were, were you able to see some openings that you didn't take, or did it take you going back and looking at the film for you to see where there were moments that you missed that you could have capitalized on? In the, in the moment, you know, in mm -hmm. the ring, I was I could see stuff that I, that I like, you know, I could pull the trigger on, that I could, but it was just like I was hesitating, you know, uh, things like that. But I feel like that's the rest, you know, not being in the ring, you know, I, Fought twice in the last three years, so just time to get busy active, so. and shock. Right, you know what I'm saying. You know we don't want to take too much away from the guy Ray, but uh, how the word? This I took it all. I took it all. So what the but, hell was you but doing? But then again, we take away from <laughs> that's showing you how good Shock is. Yeah, what? that was. Yeah, <laughs> hey, he made that guy. I I don't even want to do that to him. Right, but right, hey, right, yeah, right, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wait, because this is what I said. I said. I said, what did you game plan to do? You, you After the fight, you're talking about he ran. You should have known Oshaki Foster is an in-and-out fast boxer. What did you prepare What did you prepare for? Did you, like, after the fight, when you go back and look at it, you're like, yo, this dude didn't know who I was, and he just got in the ring thinking he was going to do what he does well, and it didn't work. Right. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know what. Because what. The, last, the last two or three rounds, you know, I'm walking them down. I'm trying to, trying to you know, put some damage to him and he was the one on the back foot. So I didn't really get, you know, the excuses he was making. Uh, yeah. The, first he said, I run ran, my and ass. Then he said, yeah. And then I, and said, I like oh, Ray. Weight was a problem. I like Ray. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's definitely, he's a, he's a, he's a good, he's a good person. He's a, he's a nice gentleman. But the, and then even in the ring, he's, he's dangerous in the ring. If you allow him to be dangerous. And so I just was let down 
by what I felt to be his lack of preparation. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, they say his head coach left him. Lack of preparation. I think he just got out of school. He got school that night. He just went to school. Yeah. yeah. A guy that wanted it more, that yeah. was better. Levels better. But uh hopefully you learn from hey, it. Hey, uh Shock, what what by what round you felt like, man, he can't he can't fuck with me. I've been there before. He can't because you went to uh like yeah, this dude, this dude not on my level. He can't touch me. What, what mid mid <laughs> mid fight? Because you went, you was like, yeah, man, this is this is different. I'm different. Nah, I thought about it in the second round. Damn! Damn! Round, like, damn! Yeah, he can't. Yeah, damn! Yeah. 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 But that's what yeah. it's like. It, no, but keep it real though. Like you start the fight thinking that, and then as the fight starts to work and play itself out, you start damn. to like kind of like you like, yeah, I already knew what it was. And it only took you two rounds for you to be like, yeah, he can't touch me. Damn. Yeah, nah, for sure. I, I definitely, you know, I thought he was going, in the later rounds, I thought he was going to be able to try to pick up the action. But by the time the second round came and I seen he was just, he, he just kind of looked confused to me, like, at already. So I was just like, oh, yeah, he, he, he done. Like, it's good. Hey, he was up there like, damn, I'm fighting a ghost. <laughs> 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 but you, yeah. you, you good? Yeah, Shaq. We yeah, go ahead. No, no, I just want to hey, congratulate you, bro. Yes, hey, the future, future's Thanks, bright, bro. man. And I mean, you at the top right now, but just keep going, bro. Keep doing it. At this point, cash out. I always tell boxers, cash out. Get your money because they get theirs. Hey, get your money, bro. Cash out and be blessed, oh, man. Definitely. Yeah, man. Be blessed, man. It, man. Enjoy the belt, man. Enjoy everything that's coming to you from becoming a champion and and stay a champ, man. You you you. I was already a fan of yours, man. And it's, if anything, it's just renewed. That's all, man. Congratulations. Thanks, bro. I appreciate and thanks for coming y'all. on to the port away. What, what you you know you was a WBC champ, yeah. And hey, what does he have to do? He got to yeah, go down man. to uh, the conventions and all that. Tell, oh tell yeah. You, hey 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 hey, shock. You got to work the system. You gotta yeah. Work the system. <laughs> you gotta work the system. That's one. <laughs> that's that's an off air. That's oh, offline okay. conversation. Off, okay. Offline conversation. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, be good, my man. Be blessed. I appreciate you having me, brother. Yes, sir. Stay blessed, man.